Hi, today we'll talk about another binary search question. It is about search in rotated sorted array. Let's see what this question is all about. All right, so in this question, they have provided us a sorted array in ascending order and a target value. And we have to find this target value from this array. So suppose they have provided us an assorted array like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And from this array, we have to find number 2, which is a target. And yes, we can found it here and we will return its index. But they have added one more thing. They said we can't possibly rotate this array at any pivot index. So let's suppose we we can push it from here. We push it. And when we push, these will come from here. They will start rotating on the back. So it's like a circular array. And what you, you will get, let's suppose if I, I push it three steps, it will become like uh, zero will move next and then uh, one will move next, two will move here, three will move here and four will move back to the start starting position. So if I will take three step in this case, it will become two, three, four, zero and one. So if I take three step, I push it, then I push further and I push further. So you can see that will be the shape. And this array could be possibly rotated in any at any index. And we have to find the target number. So they have just make that change. Now let's see how we can solve this question. I will take an example. And in this example, I have to find three, I will pick by insert. Why? Because I start looking that they have provided us a sorted array, which is in ascending order, and they have asked the question to search the target. I know that there is some change where some part of the array is, uh, that part is in ascending order, that part is in ascending order, which is sorted, but, but that part is actually not. So how we will handle this situation or what we will make the change in binary search algorithm to, to make it uh, work. So I will take the same example two, three, four, zero, one. And the first step, the, the condition when we never found, we not found that element in this case, that will happen when left pointer will be greater than the right pointer that in this case, we will just return minus one. Now, the other case when we were here that the left pointer, this is the right pointer and we will take the mid. When we'll take the mid, we will ask first question that if this element at mid, which is four, is it greater than the element on the left? So if it, it is greater than the left, so it means we were saying, we were confirming that this side is sorted. This side is sorted and we are in right place. And when we are in sorted array, then the second question we will ask, does the target, which is three, falls in this range two to four? If it is in this range, then we'll start looking here by using binary search if it is not in this range, not here, so for sure we have to just look on that side. In this, that's the way we'll keep on doing. So the first step, we will try to see if this side is ascending or not. If it is ascending, then the second question we will look that, okay, the target is, does it falls within this range? If not, we will start looking on the other side and we'll keep on doing the binary search. And finally, either we will find the number with log n complexity, or we will just return minus one. Let's go and let's see how we can solve it. Welcome back. Now we will know that we can solve this question using binary search. And we will define a function binary search 
its left index will be we will take the left index we will take the right and we were expecting that this by search function will return the answer how we will call that we will say by search left index will be at zero and right index will be at the end of the array minus one now this by search function will say that if left is going to cross a right so we never found that target will return minus one in the else part first we will find mid we'll find mid we'll say left plus right minus left divide by two we find the mid and we will ask that do we found the target the nums at mid do we found the target if we found that we will return the mid if we never found now in this in this part we will ask first question that does the left side is sorted so we'll say nums at mid is greater than equal to nums at left so we are asking that does the left side is sorted if it is we will do one thing and else we will do the other so if it is the left side is sorted we will ask the second question does the target fold within the range of the left side so we'll say does the target is greater than equal to nums at left and target is less than our nums at mid if it is then we will start looking into the left side and mid minus one else if we never found ah we have to go on the right side we'll say by search go with the mid plus one and go to the right now that was the that was all calculation that we have done once we know that the left side is sorted the else part when we know yeah that's not sorted we will ask that okay if target falls within the range that it is greater than equal to uh, greater than to our nums at mid and n target is less than or equal to our nums at right so we are asking the same question does our target falls within the range on the right side if it is search it inside so we'll say mid plus one and the right else ah uh, we never found it on the right side of course the left side is not sorted but start looking on the left side so we'll say bs and left and mid minus one well that's it now let's run the code and it's working really thanks